What's up everyone, today I'm going to be bringing you my review of the Portenzo Wingtip Edition case for the iPad. Now if we just take a quick look around the case, uh, the outside is made of this nice fabric material and the inside portion is made from bamboo. We have a uh, part there for our 35mm headphone jack, our volume rockers and mute button, uh, ample space for our dock connector and on the back uh, of the case we have a camera hole and we have an elastic strap. Uh, the inside again is made from fabric and uh, the part where the case goes as I said is made from bamboo. In the corners of the case we have some rubber grips which keeps the iPad in place. Uh, this black portion here is what actually deflects the sound from the iPad speaker uh, back out through the grills so using this case with your iPad isn't actually going to affect uh, the clarity of sound coming from your iPad. This case does feature Apple's smart cover technology, so when you do lift the lid of the case, uh, it turns your iPad on, and when you close it, it switches the screen off, which is a nice convenient feature. Now for an extra $20 on top of your order, you can uh, incorporate the IntelliStand uh, into your case, which basically allows you uh, to put your case up in the stand formation shown, uh, which is great for uh, viewing video and uh, thanks to Secret Life of Justin for allowing us to use uh, his video in this review. The IntelliStand actually uh, stays secured by the two magnets uh, there on the bamboo and there's actually a strip of magnet uh, across the case uh, which connects two magnets in the side of the bamboo to keep everything secure. Now as far as taking the iPad out of the case, it can be quite troublesome as there isn't much uh, parts you can actually get to the iPad to pull it out, uh, but uh, just after a bit of practice, uh, just kind of getting it from the bottom and pushing uh, towards the top of the case and lifting, you can get the iPad out nicely. Now, unfortunately, uh, this case doesn't actually feature a uh, opening at the top of the case to allow you to get to the power button. And uh, although at first I didn't find this an issue because uh, the case actually turns the um, screen on and off for you, it does actually take away the functionality of being able to take screenshots. And uh, I do take um, quite a lot of screenshots for various things on my iPad so using uh, this case takes away that functionality which in my opinion is a shame. Upon receiving the case I did think that there could be an issue with using headphones with this case because the whole four headphones in this case is quite small uh, but uh, when testing it out I did find that both headphones with a straight jack and headphones with a 90 degree jack uh, did fit in uh, just fine and it wasn't an issue using headphones at all which was nice. Now as far as uh, using the iPad in this case for gaming, um, I did find that it was okay but it did make the iPad a bit heavy after a while and I do like that the case uh, when you're holding it the corners have been rounded on this side so when you are holding uh, the case uh, it's not really going to dig into your hands all that much. So that's as far as features goes uh, of the case but now for my opinions on the case. Now I really really do like this case and uh, although it is expensive and we'll get onto that uh, in a second the workmanship uh, on this case is absolutely second to none. You can see from the quality just of the bamboo that uh, the, the way that the wood has been cut and just the overall design of this case in my opinion is absolutely phenomenal I really really do like it for me this case is more of a case which you're gonna put on your iPad when you're taking it around with you a lot I think it's impractical to use this sort of case around the house uh, I think maybe a lighter case um, or maybe just a back protective case is gonna be sufficient when you're using it around the house but when going traveling and taking this uh, out and about with you I don't think that um, when taking this out and about with you I think that using this case is going to offer up great protection and obviously it has a great executive kind of look to it so it looks extremely professional as well. Now the case is fully customizable and starts at $75 and uh, the custom cases which pretty much every case on Portenzo's website can be uh, ships in around 7 to 15 business days. Now uh, this case is available for the original iPad, the iPad 2 
uh, and the new iPad and you have full control over what colours you want on the outside, what colours you want the accent to be and what colour you want the inside to be. Now you can add uh, an optional uh, magnetic grip or you can have both uh, the magnetic grip and elastic cover for an extra $10 on top of your order. Then you can uh, go ahead and choose what colour you want the elastic to be. Uh, for a camera opening, uh, you can add uh, that for $5. I think that shouldn't really be an optional extra. I think that should be uh, a standard uh, feature considering the iPad 2 and iPad 3 both feature cameras. Um, you can add a stylus compartment for another $10 and you can uh, order for another $10 uh, a pro stylus with an engraving to go on that. Uh, you can add, as I said, in Telestand uh, for $20, as I said, uh, earlier on in the review and you can also add a personal embossing to uh, the outside of the case itself so you might want to put your name or the name of your company uh, if you're uh, buying this sort of case for your work and if you're buying it as a gift for someone you can uh, add a gift message and below that we just have uh, some uh, information about the IntelliStand and the rest of the case. I'd like to say a big thanks to Potenzo for sending out the Wingtip Edition Case 4 review. There'll be a link in the description to where you can purchase uh, the Wingtip Edition for yourself. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.